Hello, so I'm gonna talk briefly about testing ketones. I think this is a really good topic and I do get asked about it a lot and sometimes I forget to talk about it because I just assume everyone knows that there are different types and different ways to test your ketones and there are some ways that are more accurate than others. Number one, urine strips are basically useless. So someone could eat a Twinkie with a stick of butter and register high ketones on a urine strip. So I don't recommend those at all. Blood ketones, which are very popular in this space, they're not bad. But if you are a long-term ketovore, carnivore, low-carber, you should expect for your blood ketones to go down. Not because you're burning less fat, but because your body has become more efficient at clearing the fat in your bloodstream to oxidize and use for fuel. Let me say that again. Your ketones will go down on your blood meter the longer that you are fat adapted and burning fat for fuel because your body becomes more efficient at clearing it and using it for fuel. And so the blood meters test beta hydroxybutyrate, BHB, which is basically the amount of fat that, that you have the potential to use, which is great. But if you test breath, that tests acetone, which tests the amount of fat that you have already oxidized. This is a much more accurate test for someone who has been a long-term carnivore. If you haven't invested in one yet, I would go straight to the breath meters or a lumen device. I use a lumen. Lumen basically breaks down the percentage of carbohydrates and fat that you're burning in any moment. So the truth is that all of us are burning a combination of the two. There's always fat flux going on. I learned that term from Maria Emmerich and we're always burning a little bit of the two. We need glucose and fat to just live. But if you wanna be primarily burning fat like me, it's really cool to see the percentages, not just not just a number on a breath meter, but the percentages so that I actually see, okay, how many, what percentage of carbohydrates is my body using? And this is relevant for even someone who doesn't eat carbs because remember gluconeogenesis exists and that is when basically the liver creates glucose for the body and you can use that. And so the Lumen device has really helped me to optimize my fasting windows, timing my carbs if I do eat them. I always eat them post workout, but it's just really cool to see these trends and the app that it comes with will walk you through and troubleshoot. What did you eat today? What time did you go to bed? When did you break your fast? Um, to help you get better results. And I really love that. So I highly recommend that device. My discount code is tailored. And I do not have affiliation with another breath meter. The Lumen does not measure acetone, it measures carbon dioxide. So it's a little bit different, but I prefer it. And then I'm also, I'm affiliated with Foracare, which is a two-in-one glucose and ketone meter. And I really like that one because it's very accurate and you can do everything in one device. My husband really enjoys testing his blood ketones and his glucose. I don't do those regularly every day anymore, but when I do, I always use my Foracare device. And so I will make sure that I have a link, a link to Foracare in the description, as well as the Lumen. You can also find both of those on my discounts page on my website. But I just wanted to clear up the confusion of testing ketones. First of all, I should have shared this first. The ketones don't matter like as much as you might think they do. Unless you are someone who has epilepsy or you're trying to really be in deep ketosis for neurological conditions or therapeutic ketosis for a good reason, I don't think you need to chase ketones as much as you might think you need to. I think a lot of people are just like eating extra butter at the end of the day because they didn't hit the ratio, their fat to protein ratio, and their ketones aren't where they wanna be. If you're trying to hit a certain fat to protein ratio, try to do it in every meal. You can't just eat a bunch of protein and then a bunch of fat. It's supposed to be a ratio working together. And if your ketones aren't where you want them to be, if you're not burning as much fat as you want to burn, I would recommend the Lumen because it will help you to troubleshoot and break down what's going on. And just know urine strips are basically useless. The blood ketone meters measure what fat in your bloodstream has the potential to be oxidized. It does not measure what you have already used. And so what your body does with it is a different story depending on the person from there on out from that reading. And so it just really depends on the individual what might work best for you. If you're confused, leave a comment below and I can make a recommendation. I won't just recommend what I'm affiliated with. I really want to help you, but I really just want to share that 
the blood ketone meters are not always accurate. Another question I got on this topic was, could eating less cause you to have less ketones because you're going into gluconeogenesis? And it kind of depends on the context. If you're fat adapted and you're eating at a caloric deficit, then you're likely gonna be burning more of your own body fat, so your ketones would go up. If you're not fat adapted and you're just stressing out your body because you're under eating, your ketones would go down because then you would start running on gluconeogenesis, your body would start catabolizing and making glucose from your muscles and your liver, and then your ketones would probably go down. So context is key. I love this subject. Anything about fat burning and tracking ketones and stuff like that, I'm a data nerd. I'm really looking forward to doing a NutriSense continuous glu glucometer once I have David. They didn't want to do it while I was pregnant, which makes sense. So I'm super excited for that. Stick around for it, but I hope that this helps someone. And if you don't track at all, good for you. You can always just listen to your body, take progress pictures. I think if your goal is to lose weight, progress pictures and how your clothes fit is the best measurement. And, and also just focus on how you feel more than losing weight, focus on how you're feeling. Do you have less inflammation? Can you focus better? Do you have less cravings? Are you sleeping deeper? Do you have more energy? Like these are things that matter so much more than just losing weight. And there are things that usually precede losing weight. Your body prioritizes healing and it usually wants to heal your adrenals and your thyroid and detoxing your liver before you burn fat. Your liver literally has to detox before you can burn fat. And so give it time. I hope this helps someone.